Hey friends, today I'm going to talk a little bit about infrared processing using ACR or in my case Lightroom. They both use the same uh, Adobe RAW converter. Uh, if you're using a camera uh, for infrared photography, it's really fun. And lately I've been playing around with that. I've, I've had the opportunity to shoot a few infrared cameras. Um, and these are digital cameras in which you send them in for a modification. They remove the optical low-pass filter from in front of your sensor and replace it with one that allows infrared light to pass through and prevents visible light coming through. Well, one of those conversions is something called the super color conversion. It lets both infrared spectrum as well as visible spectrum, part of the visible spectrum, come through your images. And if you're shooting in RAW, um, this becomes a white balance nightmare. Uh, Lightroom and ACR in particular, you can get some really challenging white balance situations. Let me show you what I mean in Lightroom and I'm going to show you the fix to that using something uh, that you can download from Adobe called the DNG Profile Editor. So let's take a look and see how that works. All right, I've brought up this image into Lightroom. This is from a super color converted Nikon D700 that I had an opportunity to use uh, while I was out leading a photo workshop. And I took this picture of some foliage. And what you can see is that this is horribly, horribly orange. Um, what what we want to be able to do is correct the white balance with a, in this case, with a super color image to get some color separation between the foliage, which should look bluish or almost blue gray, and the sky, which should sort of have a, a reddish magenta cast to it, but certainly not this orange look. The problem that I've got when I'm using ACR or Lightroom, they're both using the same a raw converter under the hood is if I go up here to the basic panel and click that open you can see that my white balance which is set to as shot is pegged all the way down here at 2000 uh, degrees Kelvin I got a little bit of latitude with my tint slider but you can see I, I cannot neutralize these colors this is a big big problem because I get just weird look now one solution, of course, with infrared is to convert to monochrome, and to do that I would use something like Silver FX Pro, and that's fine. However, if you want to have that false color look, this isn't going to cut it. So what we need to do is we need to create a custom camera calibration that allows us to make appropriate white balance adjustments to this image right here in Lightroom or in ACR. So let's do that. I'm going to just reset the, the white balance back to as shot and reset all my adjustment parameters here. And I'm going to use the export feature in Lightroom to convert this raw image to a Adobe raw DNG file. And you're going to see why I'm going to do that in just a second. So I'm going to go to Export. And one of my Lightroom presets that's included with Lightroom is Export to DNG. So I just right-clicked on the file. I'm going to click Export to DNG. I'll put it on my desktop. Click Open. It's going to run in the background. Here is that file. Now what I need to do is I need to launch a secondary application, which is a free download from Adobe. It's called the Adobe uh, DNG Profile Editor. And it's available from adobe.com. You just do a search for DNG Profile Editor. And you can download it for free from them. From here, so I'm in the DNG Profile Editor, I'm going to choose Open DNG Image. I'm going to go to Desktop where I saved this file. Here's that DNG. I'm going to click Open. And here's the the image. Let's make this bigger. And there's this panel here called Recipe. And you can see I'm set to use the camera standard Nikon D700 profile. Well, that's not working for me. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to Color Matrices. And down here at the bottom, there's a white balance calibration. I'm going to slide the temperature slider 
not quite all the way to the left, but I'm going to set it to about say 85. And I'm going to make the tint a little bit more on the green side. Now mind you, this doesn't have to look perfect. We're just adjusting this to create a new baseline when we get back into Lightroom. So you can mess with the temperature, you can mess with the tint, you can see how I can really gray out those values a little bit more. Again, I'm not 100% correct here, we're just making a minor adjustment. I'm going to leave tint alone for, for now. I'm going to go then up to the Options tab, give it this profile a name, um, Super Color Infrared, okay, uh, D700, whatever. And then from File Menu, I'm going to export this profile. Now this profile is going to be specific to the Nikon D700. It won't come up with other cameras. But if you're like me, most of us probably only have one infrared converted camera. It's an older camera, so you can make this your own special little profile. Export. And I'm just going to choose that. It'll save it to where it needs to go. In this case, my Camera Profiles folder. Click OK. And then I can quit. I don't need to save this if I don't want to. Now, in order for this profile to be applied into Lightroom, I need to restart the application. So I'm going to quit Lightroom. And then I'm going to go back and relaunch Lightroom. OK, here we are back in Lightroom with my image. And now I'm going to go back down to Camera Calibration. And I'm going to choose that new profile that I just made, the Super Color Infrared D700 profile. Notice now it's still not right, but what I get is I get a white balance that I can now make appropriately blue. If I want this foliage to start looking blue, I can, or even neutralized, I can get that. That's important for me because now that I've got these this bluish cast here, then I can have some fun because now I can take this image, I can I get color separation between the sky and the foliage, I can take it into Photoshop, do things like channel swapping, adjust those colors, get the hues the way I want, make whatever kind of false color infrared image I'm interested in doing. Um, but the key here is to get that neutralize and bluish tint in the screen, I've got to give it a different custom calibration uh, module. So to use that, let me just recap. We started with the original image. We exported it to DNG. I used Adobe's DNG Profile Editor, which was a software that I downloaded for free from Adobe's website. We made a custom profile, which set the the white balance tint more towards the blue so that when I bring this image back into Lightroom or into ACR I can then make the necessary white balance adjustments in fact I can go over here use my eyedropper click on something that I want to be neutral and I, I will get uh, an approximate white balance so from there you can have fun with these images hopefully this helps uh, with your white balance issues that way you can work directly in Lightroom or ACR. Thank you and I'll see you again hopefully next time.